Hello again. In this video, I will be talking to you about putting books in a book bag and making reserves and holds. As I mentioned in the previous video and what I've shared with your teachers and to you if, if possible, is that while we are face to face or if you choose to go face to face for instruction, there will be options for us to pass off books to you if you put them on reserve. Now you will be able to come up to the desk during passing periods and before and after school and simply ask us for a book and we will find the book and check it out for you. Um, but if you want to do this independently, you can do it as easily as putting a book on reserve or hold and we will have it ready for you by the next passing period as long as it is in our uh, collection number one and number two it is um, not checked out by somebody else. Now this is not a feature that you can do without logging in. Now you can still look for books. You can still uh, type in a put in a search if you need to. President, make sure you spell it correctly of course. Um, go through our searching list. Go see what they have. And you can add books to a book bag, that's fine. However, the whole point of having a book bag is being able to go back and see what you've put in there, similarly to shopping, just sort of like these things that you're putting aside in your cart, haven't necessarily checked them out and purchased them, but you, you're, you're interested, you're thinking about it. So these books are um, books you can put in a book bag, but you cannot go back to it. So instead, I encourage you to log in, and this is probably where I should move myself or minimize, so I'll do that now. And you want to go to your book bag. So you want to go to your book bag after you log in. And when you log in, you're going to use the same login that you've been using since middle school, how you access your, um, how you log into your computer. So same login, same password. And once you log in, you can then access your book bag. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at a book bag of a student. And um, this is something that they already have added, but once you have a book bag, you can go ahead and keep on adding to it. So we'll go ahead and start from scratch. I, meant, I uh, mentioned that this person has books in his book bag, but we'll go ahead and do a little more just so I can show you how simple it is. And you can go through, you can add books. These are already in a book bag. Again, not yours yet, but you can add more as you go down. The features are here. You can also do this if you go and click on the actual cover. If you go onto the cover, you can get more information. You can put a reserve or hold here, add it to your book bag or you can look for more information. So you can look at details related to the book. It gets a little um, scientific and data heavy, but you can also look at reviews. You can look at different contents within the book. You can have a profile of um, the, um, the focus of the book, as in like, in this case, it's a biography, so a profile of him. In this case, uh, Lincoln, you can go and learn more about the author. Another thing I really like about this is that if you go into suggestions, it will give you a, um, in this case, not a lot here, but if you go to suggestions, you can click on any of the links, say you wanna know more about New York, and then that will show you every book we have in our collection related to New York. So it is just, uh, um, yeah, it just kind of unfolds in itself with all these different options. But this is where you can add to your book bag if you have not already, or you can go ahead and go back to your search results and see what's there. Now, once you have added your books, and you can do this forever, or you can also remove it if you decide that you don't want it anymore. So we'll go ahead and take one of these out. But if you wanted to see what you have in your book bag, you would go ahead and go up to book bag, show book bag. And if you decide once it's in the book bag that this is something that you wanna check out, it's just as simple as clicking on the title, or I'm sorry, the cover. And you click reserve or hold. It'll show you the date desired. Most likely it's 
the day that you put it in and then you click reserve and then a librarian will receive this email and we will begin to process it for you. And so it's really just that simple. You can go in, you can look at your account, you can see what you have on hold. You can also cancel reservations here if you decide that you don't want them. You can also go to your book bag and you once you show your book bag, I said that you could take some things out individually, but you can also take out books. You can just empty your book bag and that will get rid of everything and you can have a fresh start. But this is um, a very simple, straightforward feature that will allow you to communicate with me. And like I said, our services are going to be super fast and we will get it to you during a passing period or before or after school. So consider it. Um, I definitely want to move books during the pandemic and I think this is the best way of doing it. Please talk to me or talk to your teachers if you have any other questions. And I look forward to seeing your emails. Thanks.